Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So uh, what I'm going to do today, I'll, I'll talk about the pair. Um, so my apologies, it's going to be a theoretical uh, episode as well. Um, we're going to look at, you know, the fiddling with org and other kind of stuff later. Uh, but just wanted to make sure you guys understand uh, some of the theory behind it. Like in the previous episode, I talked about the providers, right? the concept of provider the same way i'm going to talk about the pairs right pairs plays an important role in the health cloud or in the health sector um, though from a new zealand perspective pairs not really uh, that significant compared to united states so pairs are like an insurance company right who, pro who provides people the health insurance uh could be your dental insurance or could be your specialist in insurance or or could be anything right any insurance related to your health, right? Now, from a New Zealand perspective, right? Like I said, in New Zealand, our healthcare is free in codes. The, re and the, the, the reason why I put in codes, right? Because, you know, although I do appreciate the fact that in New Zealand, you don't really have to pay when you, you know, when you go for uh, any kind of surgery or, you know, any kind of, um, you know, health related stuff, right? Because, uh, you know, most of the stuff is considered free. But that being said, there there are, uh, you know, if, if you are uh, looking for, um, say, for instance, a surgery to remove a kidney stone, uh, not really surgery, I mean, whatever the process, right? So sometimes the wait time could be, you know, among us, right? You might end up in waiting three months because usually what happens is that your GP will recommend to urologist and a urologist, uh, getting an appointment for a urologist will be another, uh, you know, pain in the pain in the spectrum. I would say to to be polite. So, and it might take maybe from you know a week to a month to even see a urologist. And a urologist, like I said, you know, they send your application to a hospital, and you know, based on the availability of a urologist, they'll contact you, right? Say for the sake of argument, say a month, right? And when the urologist looks at you and might offer you a few suggestions and a few medications and if that didn't work you might have to put you into surgery list right that surgery list can go maybe depending upon um, you know how critical other surgeries are right so or other uh, surgical procedures are so it may take say maybe a month to three months so overall process can last maybe four to five months so yeah that's one of the drawback you know i would say um, but like, you know, I live, I live in a small town, but still it can take longer compared to like in Auckland or, uh, you know, we are, we are not bad, like, like compared to Auckland or Wellington or Christchurch. I mean, it's a big, uh, population, but that being said, it's still the wait time is high. All right. So, so in that perspective, right. Insurance is not really needed, but though you can buy a personal insurance, that's a different story. Uh, right and some companies do offer but whereas in the united states what i've heard from my mates right you need to have insurance for every freaking thing right which is pretty interesting and and companies do offer like for instance google or microsoft they do offer health insurance which is great but i i, I sometimes don't understand right when people retire what happens to them if they need surgery because i i don't know i mean i haven't lived in the united states so i really can't make or uh in any kind of this you know, judgment or any kind of analysis without knowing the actual stuff. But this is what I've heard, right? Uh, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm just happy to correct uh, in my statement. Okay, so uh, from a Salesforce perspective, pace is very important, right? O obviously, your insurance company, you wanted to know, you know, you wanted to provide a best uh, healthcare plan, right, to your, uh, to your members. And obviously, the market is competitive, right? There are many... Um, um, healthcare payers out there who's looking after uh, you know different spectrum of uh, illnesses or different areas uh, like you know some some insurance companies provide you like a free GP visit or free specialist care and, and so and or maybe you need to put only you know a certain amount uh, along with you know uh, the amount they're going to subsidize so yeah, so it's a competitive market, right? So, so the most of the time, the payers need to look for a better deal so that they can attract people to buy the insurance. Now, that's great, but you know there are, there are a few challenges comes with it. <clears throat> Obviously, 
um, they need to work with providers. They need to work with pharmaceuticals, right? And obviously, when they work with providers and pharmaceuticals, it's important to <clears throat> keep a track of physicians' uh, qualifications, certification, pharmaceutical licensing, a lot of things that you know comes in the picture, right? And also, they need to, a way to market their the stuff, right? And they wanted an option where they can you know provide an online code or easy way to send out an invoice to the customer, right? Uh, they wanted to have a holistic view of the customer information, their pr the timeline, right? The previous medical history and how they're coping and the current medical history. The, those kind of stuff, obviously, is very important for an insurance company to know before they can give an insurance cover, right? So, and imagine <clears throat> all this information scattered in a different system, how painful it is, right? So that's where the healthcare comes in the picture. Um, health cloud, sorry, comes in the picture. Healthcare provides health cloud provides a comprehensive view of the customer, uh, patient information, the provider information, and distributor information. Like could be your supplier in the form of pharmaceuticals or medical companies. Uh, you know, the licensing information, everything is concentrated on one place. And also, you know, our health cloud do provide our option to create codes and invoices to the customer. Right, everything is centralized. So. That's an advantage from a payer perspective, right? Um, and also, they can also keep track, like I said, the physician's certification and license renewal and all kind of things. They can, uh, they can, uh, you know, work. They they can have an uh, overview uh, uh, picture of using a health cloud, and which is very good, right? Because obviously, you know, if you are an insurance company, right, health insurance company, that you should be knowing. Uh, you know, which provider you are partnering with or with drug administrative, or sorry, with pharmaceuticals you're partnering with. Pharmaceuticals in medical industry plays a very important role, right? People misunderstand the concept of pharmaceutical, right? Pharmaceuticals are very passionate. I mean, there's a lot of, um, you know, I, I, I might get into trouble by saying this. A lot of people have a misconception, right? Pharmaceuticals are thugs. They, they don't care. That's not the case, though. You, you have to remember one thing. Pharmaceuticals are the one who actually funds the uh, the research, right? The chemists, you know, all the scientists, right? Coming up with new medicines and vaccines. Pharmaceuticals are the one that actually funds it. Yes, they have to make profit, right? Obviously, you cannot keep on funding without generating the money. So, but at the same time, they are in the business of saving lives, and which is a great cause. I mean, it's it, it's not philanthropy, right? You need to understand, right? Companies are not there to do philanthropy, but they are running a business for the good cause, right? Think about a painkiller medicines, right? How useful it is. Think about the people in the past that have to go through so much of pain, but now because of the great contribution in the medical science and with the help of pharmaceuticals, they're coming with medicines which really makes your life comfortable, right? So we need to appreciate that, right? Um, so, so yeah, and, and it's very important that if you are an insurance company to know the licensing and all other regulation, you know, if the pharmaceuticals are, you know, keeping in check. So... You can get that information uh, using uh, Health Cloud and also the EHR data, electronic uh, health record. Uh, so obviously, uh, payers will be interested in that detail, so they can see that using uh, Health Cloud. And also, they want the patient information to be secure or insurance company insurance to be secure. Like for instance, a patient might have uh, x x amount of cover or x y z cover. And imagine the data are leaked, right? It's not great because leaking a medical information or or medical information getting hacked is a very serious issue, right? So it can affect someone else's employment, credit score. Sorry, not credit score. Uh, yeah, the uh, capability to get credit, right? Because if bank assumption you know, all you're super sick and most of the money goes into healthcare, um, bank will be reluctant to lend you the money, right? You might say it's discriminatory, but you know, uh, people don't run business because of emotions, right? It doesn't work. So banks are there to make money, right? So, okay. So, and also uh, one more thing, right? Payers also need to ensure that, you know, if you as a customer, right, you must be interested. So you must be interested to view your uh, plan online, right? You will, you might want to log into your site uh, and then, you know, put in your customer number or, whatever number, right? That's a customer number and to view your policy documents. So you will like to have that information online. And also, if you wanted to claim an insurance, you, should, you know, user might be looking for an online mode, right? Uh, like maybe, um, 
through an online application form or through call or through email uh, to you know request for a form and fill and send out the form right like I remember I did a insurance claim for my daughter uh, a few years ago right in New Zealand there's one of the four, one form I worked they have medical insurance uh, so I claimed it right because you know she wanted to check certain stuff so I got a claim and it was very very easy process right and you know it took me like you know, maybe four days just to you know get the stuff approved and it's it's pretty great like I said right you know in New Zealand uh, you don't really need insurance, but if you want to see a doctor ASAP or a specialist ASAP, uh, it's it's worth getting one, right? Or for a dentist, unless you're planning to go to Thailand or Bulgaria to get your dental fixed, right? Because Bulgaria is a very good destination, right, for dental. I I know a few people in Bulgaria. One is one is a dentist. She's an amazing dentist. But I'm generally saying, compared to New Zealand, Bulgaria is very cheap, and the quality of service is exceptionally well. And the same goes with um, Thailand and because I know a few mates that went to Thailand to get the dental stuff. So it's very cheap there. But cheap doesn't mean bad quality service, right? Um, and yeah, so anyways, um, so and like I said, right? And if they wanted to um, contact uh, the customer care for any questions, right? If, if I mean... If the user wants to contact, like your member wants to contact, you should have an option like an omni-channel in place uh, using which a customer or contact center, I would say. You can use contact center uh, using omni-channel. Um, you know, you can um, help your members to uh, reach out to you or you can also create an experience cloud site to have you know, know-how or or FAQ kind of stuff information there, or to provide members with uh, the knowledge base articles so that they don't have to contact every single time, right? So that kind of facility help cloud offers, and it's a very, it's a fantastic product, right? I would say, you know, it's one of the uh, amazing products I've seen when it comes to health cloud. Though, like I said, in New Zealand market, you know, like I work with health cloud, right? But and we have a lot of custom components we built on top of the health cloud. We're not, you know, uh, like especially uh, Ministry of Health, Health New Zealand, use health cloud, Salesforce. Yeah, that's only information I can provide. I can't say, provide anything beyond that. But uh, so, yeah, I've done the health cloud stuff, um, not from a payer perspective, though, but from provider and other stuff. But that's the reason why I mentioned when I started this episode, right? New Zealand don't really have the concept of pair in general. I'm not saying we don't have, we do, but it's not extensively used like like Americans do in the United States or maybe in other countries, right? I, I don't know about other countries, right? I can't really, <laughs> you know, I've, I've traveled to different places, but I haven't lived in much places. The country I lived was in Israel. Um, you know, I lived in London. And so, you know, and then, you know, most of my life in New Zealand, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, so that's that being said, uh, these are the, the core feature why you know Health Cloud provides a a, a useful uh, solution to uh, payers, like for instance, right, commercial sales, provider network management, distribution management, utilization management, care management, contact center, pharmacy, formulator management, these kind of things. Uh, health cloud offers and it's a great choice right if you're already using salesforce yeah so health cloud will be a great option so the reason why i wanted to teach you this stuff right if you're a consultant right if you go and consult a health uh, health industry uh say your gp or or a or a private or a big cleaning you must, should be able to answer a few questions right the capability of a health cloud so so yeah so that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday. Adios.